Our President Joe Biden is reacting to that U.N. General Assembly vote, saying the world has sent a clear message. Russia cannot erase a sovereign state from the map. And the president is responding to the latest inflation report, which shows another spike. White House correspondent Owen Jensen reports. Owen. Hi, Tracy, and good evening to you. President Joe Biden was in California today, where earlier he gave a speech on the roughly $1 trillion infrastructure law. The White House is trying to speed up construction projects amidst high inflation and not enough workers. And a lot of people are hurting these days. In California, President Joe Biden addresses yet another round of painful inflation numbers. But the price of gas is still too high, and we need to keep working to bring it down. Inflation worse than expected last month. The government says consumer prices rose 8.2 percent in September compared with a year earlier, eating into paychecks and putting more pressure on households. The America First Policy Institute tweets inflation. When Biden took office, 1.4 percent. Today, 8.2 percent. And this one, gas prices. When Biden took office, 239. Today, 392. Earlier, the president released a one-page statement on the September Consumer Price Index report, writing in part this. Americans are squeezed by the cost of living. That's been true for years, and they didn't need today's report to tell them that. It's a key reason I ran for president, working to give middle-class families some breathing room. The president was in Los Angeles talking about improving public transit, reducing pollution and traffic, and creating jobs through the bipartisan infrastructure law. Instead of infrastructure week, being a punchline under my predecessor, infrastructure decade is a headline on my watch for the next 10 years. While back in Washington, Vice President Kamala Harris addresses local and state officials at a White House accelerating infrastructure summit, urging leaders to see the plan through. The stuff we do here in D.C. will only mean something if it hits the streets of America. Now, today's inflation report, keep in mind, is the last one before the critical midterm elections in November. Expect the Fed to keep raising those interest rates to counter inflation. And Social Security recipients will need to rely on next year's 8.7% boost in benefits to afford those higher prices. At the White House, Owen Jensen, EWTN News Nightly.